It's time for another double shot. All right. I, I got a question for you. Oh, I, actually, this I need help from you and from you guys. You can put them in the comments section. I'm expecting a lot of comments because this is a real issue. Uh, as you know, or as you might know, if you listen to my show, or I don't know if I've mentioned it on here, but I'm expecting another baby in two months. So many kids. And I look great. No, my wife is expecting. Obviously, it's not me. But in two, two months, in two, <laughs> in two <laughs> I'm months. I'm glad you clarified. I got to clarify. In two months, we'll be having our fourth kid. And so that's, we're drawing the line at four. We thought we were drawing the line at three, but you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. So we're having a fourth kid. We're very excited. It's a, uh, we were talking about it for a long time. We just, you know, we didn't know when it was going to happen. Then it just happened. I don't need to explain to you guys how it works, but it works. Uh, so now we're having this fourth baby and we've decided that's it. We're not going to have any more babies after that. So uh oh. naturally I was under, unfortunately, I was going to go under the knife, which is kind of freaky. Thought, you know, like a I snip, snip. I was just snip. thinking snip, snip. Okay, so snip, snip. And I was really nervous about it because I just heard this story recently. You remember that earthquake that was in New York a few days back? Mm -hmm, there was mm -hmm. a guy who was on the operating table getting snipped no. when that happened. Yes. There was a 4.8 earthquake. I'm sure you guys saw this. What you didn't see is there was a guy who was in like in Rochester or something. And well, he's I getting... I see it. What's that? I'm glad we don't see it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. But he was in the middle of a vasectomy. And the doc he thought the doctor was playing like a dumb joke on him or something, which is ridiculous. Like, why would a doctor do that? So the doctor sets all the scalpel down and all, whatever they do to... Well, snip, snip. I don't think they cut it off, right? They're, I mean, they, they just... make a, a cut, don't they? And then tie to ah, the side? I don't know. Anyway, scary. Uh, he sets down the stuff and the guy's like, was that a joke? And the guy's like, no, I think we had an earthquake. And he thought he was joking. Anyway, so this is getting me all like, I'm all kind of freaked out about yeah. it now. So then my wife tells me the other day, and here's the, here's the twist in the story and where I'm, I don't know how I should feel about my wife based on this information. She tells me, because our first baby, it's probably too much information, but our first baby, we had to have an emergency C-section. And once you have a C-section, there is a very good chance that you have to have a C-section for mm -hmm. further babies. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't for our second and third for some really? reason, but we might have to okay. for our fourth. So my wife says, hey, I, I, was, uh, I found out. I guess she knew this information. She didn't tell me. But if, the, if she's open on a C-section on the table, then you just tie her tubes up. I, so here's the funny thing. Take care of it. I that was end. just thinking how selfish it is of her to have you do it. Listen to this. Listen to this. 100%. So I say to her, she tells me this on the couch the other night. And I'm just like, oh, this is great news. I'm very excited because this Rochester guy and the earthquake, and I don't want to have them go down there and cut anything. And she goes, no, I don't think I'm going to do it. And I said, well, if you're already open, like, what's the big deal? And she goes, well, you haven't really done anything for these babies yet. And I was like, what he do you did mean? half the work. I did half the work. It's like not my fault that my stuff works so quickly and it's so great. Like, yeah, you blame God. Women are just slower at their, at their half of the work. My half is, happens very quickly. It, literally two minutes. Not too quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway. So she tells me, uh, she goes, I think you should still get snipped, even though I'm fully able to, and, I, and it wouldn't affect her in any way. There's no extra recovery. She'd be fine. Yeah. She wants me to get snipped, even though she's like right there, because then it's me contributing. Is it that messed up? Well, think of it this way. If for- I don't have anything today in my cup yeah, either. I don't never have anything. I mean, I, it's not gonna happen. God it's forbid. But so- but do you feel do you feel like she's one, wrong. is one of us being selfish? <laughs> and is that person my wife? I think she's wrong here. It's easier for me to judge on this. And yeah. certainly for you, because yeah. I, I mean, agree with what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> why go through two surgeries when you could just go through one? Yes. Now this is all contingent on her having a C section. Yeah, which so but I, I don't want her that to happen. Yeah. But if it does if happen, it does. like there is a sunny side. See, that I think is very good on you because yes. you're saying, look. If you don't have to have a C-section, I'm not going to be praying for it. Then I'll get Then I'll go ahead and get snip Absolutely. Snip and potentially get it damaged forever. I hope that's not the case. Uh, what I would like is an overwhelming support for myself and not for my wife in the comment section. I you wanted guys to feel root that... for your wife so badly. I know you I, did. I can't. But you can't. I, I think you're right. I think a reasonable person cannot root for my <laughs> wife in this <laughs> situation. So. Is she mad? No, she's like, she's like, I just, that's how I feel. And I'm Could like, you slip the doctor like a 20. I'm saying, hey, just like, hey, she's while, not going to know while you're down there. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some rules against that, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'll Go try. Ahead. We'll see what happens. She wouldn't even know. We'll see what happens. Okay, we'll yeah. see what happens. Let me know. We'll see you next time.